All right, we're hooked up to a 2022 Chevrolet Silverado. Um, and today's quick tip is gonna be on EVAP system testing. We're gonna go into the EVAP um, emissions purge seal test here on this vehicle. And I'm gonna show you some of the parameters, what the reading should be when everything's kind of functioning as normal. So I'm gonna jump right into that purge seal test. And the main parameter we're interested in looking at data on during this test is gonna be the fuel tank pressure uh, sensor voltage. So I'm gonna select this icon all the way down the bottom right corner there and then select more data stream. All right, so currently right now we're not purging. Um, the system is venting as normal. And the, the parameter that I was saying that we wanna focus on here is this fuel tank pressure sensor. At atmospheric pressure, this should be reading around 1.5 volts, which it is, so that's good. Um, now when we start the purge, the other thing we wanna see is that the oxygen sensors start to detect more fuel. So I'm scrolling down the oxygen, the oxygen and you'll see that bank one sensor one, bank two sensor one are running rich right now, 0 0.93 point, and they're kind of just sitting steady up there. So that right there alone tells me that when I selected that purge, it purged back into the system, the system is working um, like it's supposed to be. And we're gonna go back to that fuel tank pressure sensor might have just passed in here. All right, and while I was purging, uh, that voltage went up, but now it's starting to regulate itself back down to about 1.5 where it should be. The other thing to know is when you select the, uh, the purge percentage um, and go from 10, you should feel a very slight um, idle change, 20, that should increase at 30, at 30 it should become even worse. At 40, on this specific vehicle, sometimes mine will just stall out here. Um, but I feel a rough shake. Um, so, so, I mean, that's kind of what you're looking for. When you select purge um, on this EVAP purge seal test, you wanna see that those oxygen, oxygen sensors sensor start to detect more fuel um, and they go um, to about 0 0.9, 0 0.8 volts, showing you a rich, rich condition and they're sitting steady there while you're purging. The other thing to look for is your fuel tank pressure sensor. Um, right now it's not venting, so you're starting to see, while it's not venting, um, that voltage actually fluctuate. We're gonna go ahead and put that back in the vent here. Uh, let's see, fuel tank pressure, yeah. So we're gonna go back into the venting state, which is usually its normal state. So it can return back to that atmospheric pressure uh, reading of 1.5 volts, as it's immediately doing now. All right, guys, that's your guys' quick tip, thanks.